to be brief. <gasps> Help me, Mr. Sparrow! Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about Clara, or more specifically, why Clara is like one of the best units to build on your account as a sub DPS or maybe like a carry because of one of the amount of stuff she offers. And today I want to discuss her ups and downs and discuss why Clara is like one of the best sub DPS in the game. In my opinion, of course, but with all I said, I think we should get started now. Hello, I'm Clara. Wanna be in my family? So as everyone knows, Clara is a 5 star destruction character from the standard banner. And what she does, she is basically a hybrid between a DPS and a tank. And what that entails for her kids is basically if enemy try to hit her, Spark will do a counter attack when he shoots a laser at them. And how you would use Clara is basically use her as a damage sponge that can do crazy amount of damage through follow up attack. Which she can do really good because she's very bulky and can dish out a lot of respectful damage. And when you use Clara ultimate, her follow up attack becomes AoE and those things can hit like a truck. And it has the um, benefit of not needing the restriction of Clara getting hit if an ally gets hit, the enhanced fall attack will get triggered. Which is very nice, Clara can also use any light cone you want to put her on because any light cone can legit work on Clara. For Relic, she has lots of options because you can use a physical one, the tank set, or like any two piece you want like the two piece tank set or two piece attack set or two piece attack, two piece physical, like a lot of stuff you can go with Clara. So you're not locked only with the physical set, but the physical set is by far her best set. And speaking of her relic, the fact that she doesn't even need speed boost is so massive because for one you can just run attack boost and don't even need to care about speed which is very valuable. So instead of worrying about speed, crit rate, crit damage, you can just worry about just building crit and crit damage on your Clara. And then Clara wants to get hit a lot, Clara has also built in aggro built in her kit because if you use her technique, you can increase her aggro, if you use the ultimate you can increase her aggro, and you can artificially inflate it with units like Lynx or Mars to increase the aggro of your Clara. So essentially Clara will be taking up all the damage and doing her own personal damage so it's very nice one cool thing about clara in her ascension tree she has this built in 35 percent interrupting resistance to cc abilities which is such a nice thing to have to the early and mid game of honkai star clara can really hard carry a kind of like a dps and then to the late game you can get transition she to like a sub dps that can tank a lot of damage but also do a lot of damage in return so that's a really good deal right there so like even if power creep come clara can always be like a sub DPS supporting your DPS with like damage and protection because for one she can be used as defensive utility to take up hits and soak up damage like a damage sponge but also do respect for the damage. And that's about it for Clara upside. Now I think we should get on to Clara downside now. I want to protect everyone too. Okay, for Clara downside, she has a fair bit of downside because for one her damage can be RNG the most time because for one if she doesn't get hit she doesn't do damage so that kind of L. And Clara the unit, unless you have the ult active, if you don't get hit you lose DPS on Clara which can really suck for you sometimes. And another problem Clara has is even though you can increase Clara aggro, it doesn't guarantee that Clara will get hit because if you try increasing the aggro with Clara ultimate with help from March or Link, yes it can increase Clara aggro and make it more likely to get hit but it doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get attacked because for one RNG is RNG because for one even though it's on paper you should be like the most likely thing to get hit but you know how RNG is it can be a bitch sometimes so even though you should be the one to get hit the most uh, with all that aggro increase from your Clara they're still gonna aim for your thing on one shot to you <laughs> and even though Clara can protect your team from single target damage Clara can't protect your whole team from AoE attack but if your ally get hit with AoE your healers can probably take care of them so that should be fine the next one is very minuscule because if you don't have a signature like on a different type of light cone that gives you HP recovery when you're under 50% HP you only get the the HP recovery which is not our problem because for one you can just heal it back up with your healers and then the next thing I want to talk about with the downside is for one the blade essentially what blade offer what Clara offer but with high personal damage and can also be played like a sub DPS but for a full on tanking capability Clara offers more tanking capability because one she can redirect hit towards her Clara has more aggro value than blade because for one when you use the ultimate you increase your aggro value but also you're trying to pick between them you have to pick your poison because for one blade offers high personal damage that is higher than Clara but Clara offers more tanking capability so you have to pick your poison right there and see which one you like better and the final downside of Clara the fact that if you have another team you're not gonna get any crazy MOC run like a 0 or 4 clear run you'll probably get like a 6 or 7 clear run because for one Clara is not gonna compete with imbibe 
to Lunay or Jing Lu team because for one, the damage isn't that high, but what, what she lacks in damage, she makes up for its attack ability and survivability. And you may not have the fastest memory of chaos run, but you will have one of the more comfiest MOC runs ever and guarantee yourself 30 stars without worrying about your team getting wiped if you struggle with survivability. So if you're the type of person that really wants fast MOC clears, then clear not the option, but if you want guarantee clears but slow up clear time, but can clear with 30 stars, then I guess clear is an amazing option for you. And that's all the downside. Okay, so my final thought is I think Claire's amazing sub DPS that is so bulky and can do high personal damage. So if you decide to build she because you're lacking survivability or you just like Claire as a character, then I would highly recommend you building yourself a Claire because one, for acting like both a tank but also a damage shooter at the same time, that is very valuable because for one, for team building, if you do a full Shana Lu Watcher. And if you get Clara from the standard battle from losing 50 50, I would consider building Clara because for one, she can really hard carry you through the early to mid game. And as I said before, she can scale very well to the end game as a sub DPS, protecting your squishy character and also helping out like your DPS by doing good personal damage with nice protection that is very nice for sure and overall i think as a sub dps i think clara like one of the best sub dps in the game because for one then she can act like a tank and do really good damage that is very nice for squishier team so if you want to use clara go for it she is such a nice character to use but with all that said i think that's everything i want to talk about for today's video so with all that said thank you so much for watching this video I do appreciate if you made it far. Let me know if you made it far and I'll heart your comment. I always appreciate your support to me. Let me know what I should do next and let me know what you guys think about to say. You agree with me? Disagree with me on this? Let me know down below. Cause at the end of the day, I'm not gonna kill you. Meh. Probably might kill you, but still comment and we call out of stuff. But anyway, final thought is I think Claire is an amazing sub DPS and you try to build her, you are a happy camper for sure. But with all I said, take care, love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.